My name is Jimmy Dakotas. I'm 19 years old. I'm from PBD, Massachusetts, and I ride for the Geico Honda team. For 2011, I, uh, I started out as a privateer. I was going to do my own thing. Will Hahn got hurt on Geico, so they needed a replacement for him. So they ended up giving me a call, and I went out there, went to California, I tested for like a week, and then I jumped right into the West Coast Series, which was actually tough for me, because I had been uh, not totally all the way there on my training, but I did the best of what I could with it, and uh, I rode smart and strong and didn't get hurt for the first half of the year, and then I uh, went into Seattle, I was feeling good, and just slipped up, I cased a triple, and my elbow dislocated, so that set me back for about four months, I think I've been on the couch. So coming back now, and I'm just happy to be back and, and at Celtic on my home track. Yeah, Celtic's uh, definitely my favorite track on the uh, national circuit by far. I mean, I've grown up here. I remember racing back in the old days on my 80s, and I've been racing there since I was on 50s, 60s, 80s, 125, every bike I pretty much rode there. So just to come back here and, and, and get to race with everyone and, and be on the team and just help so much. And, just so happy for it to be back here at my home race and get to be on the same track as Dowdy and Robbie Marshall and all them guys, racing with them and, and just having fun. So I'm excited. The fan base for me here is uh, huge. I mean, I'll go to nationals, like even Steel City, that's only 12 hours from me. And uh, it's like, there's just not as many fans there as it is here for me. So I'm a local boy who's from around here. I've been uh, living a few hours from here my whole life and racing. So to come here is huge and to race with and just a race with the pros and, and be involved with that is awesome. And the fans are cheering me on when I'm out when I'm out there and on the parade lap when I'm riding by. It's all cool and I enjoy it all and I wouldn't wouldn't change it for the world. Unadilla, their last race was actually Dakota's first motocross race of the year. He had a uh, elbow injury that knocked him out for the majority of this tour. So uh, good to see the 66 back. They've got Bogle on the 891, the new kid on the block, like we said. Tomac fast to qualify. Let's see if they can win for the first time this year. It is a bunch of red fenders leading them around. Get out in front of them. Might have been Garrett Swanepoel, who's also a third fastest in qualifying today. And he's also a South African, so he definitely... Oh, oh Dakotas! Woo! Huge crash by one of the Honda riders over the bars. Uh, the moto for me was tough. I uh, started up front like I wanted to. I was just, I felt smooth and good, and I was just putting down like a nice flow. I was right on Swanepoel, and I just, I don't know what I did. I just made a bobble, lost the front end. I think my hand might have came off, but I just, I just knifed the front end and went down and thought the wind knocked out of me, hit my head. And I tried to ride for a little bit, but I was so far back and I was in pain. So I just said I'll wait it out and, and try to come back to the second bowl and see what I can do. I'm really bummed that I'm not out there right now, but you know that's racing and hopefully next time I can stay up and, and stay out front. One of the riders from the outside tried to make it happen and nearly pulled it off. It's one of the Geico Honda men. It's got Rattray and Dakotas. And Dakotas in the 66 takes the line from Rattray. Then loses the spot right back. Good to see Dakotas able to salvage something here after crashing out early in Moto 1. Here he is up front in Moto 2. Jimmy Dakotas running fourth here at his home race. Vibrations going, but let's take a look at some replays. Ah, uh, Jimmy Dakotas, who is running and challenging for a podium, goes down, lost a few spots. That's a 71 of Morris right with him. So now he is in eighth after running in fourth. Uh, weekend was good for me. Uh, definitely tough. Wanted to do actually a lot better than I did, but I think I rode pretty good. I just struggled with some, uh, my starts were on point. I had two really good starts, one coming from the beyond outside in the second moto, and uh, just crash just kind of hurt me today, and a little bit inconsistency, but just had fun and, and rolled the track and enjoyed it. Uh, took in the rain a little bit, so uh, it was a good day overall, and I'm happy with it. Just, just bummed on my crashes, and I wish I could have been up on the podium, but hey, nothing you can do about it now.